In this video, I wanna to talk to you about this idea of creation is finished. Creation is finished. When someone hears this, I know the first time I heard it for sure, I got nervous. What do you mean creation is finished? What does that mean? That means I can't create the reality that I want. That means I can't attract my manifestations. That means I can't create anything new because the, all the creation in the world is already done. It almost sounds like that, right? But actually, it's actually quite the opposite. In fact, it's a completely different experience uh, from that idea that we can't create anything we want. It's very, very powerful when you truly understand what creation is finished means and the true fact that you actually have all your desires you want already. You just might not be looking in the right place. So we'll get to that in this video. Before we do though, if you could take a quick moment and smash the like button, that will activate YouTube's algorithm and get the video out to more people that really need to see it. So I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. Okay, so creation is finished, right? What does this mean? Again, we kind of get nervous when we hear this. Um, if creation's finished, how am I going to create a life of my desires, right? And and here's the simple thing, that simple idea behind creation is finished. The This idea is what we want, all of our desires, we already have, right? It already exists. There already exists a life in which we are living with everything that we desire. Anything in life that you birth the desire to, I'd, I would love that. That looks very nice. This would give me fuller expression. Any of those, there is a life where we are already living in. Now, the only reason we don't see this life in front of us is because we aren't looking in the right place, right? We are looking at what is. We are looking at this 3D objective reality and we are saying, this is the truth. This is the truth. Everything I see here is the absolute truth. I don't see abundance in this reality, so I'm not abundant, right? I don't see love. I don't see my specific person in this reality around me, so I don't have that specific person. I'm not happy with the way I look in this reality, and so that's the truth. I will just never be pleased with the way I look. The problem is when we look at this appearance around us and we judge this appearance and say, this is the truth, this is us, we become that appearance around us. And therefore we continue to attract that appearance around us. We, What we see and what we believe, we attract. So if we keep seeing and looking in this reality around us and seeing what we're unsatisfied with, we're gonna continue to manifest it and continue to live that life over and over and over again. That's why you'll see a lot of people they you know, are alive their whole lives and they never do anything, right? They just, they kind of work in the same job. They kind of do the same things. They just kind of say, oh, the world's out to get me, right? They continue to focus on this idea that what they see around them is the truth. But the truth of the matter is we can actually create what we want in the unseen, in the unseen. We have to turn our attention to our imagination, okay? That's where we start shifting kind of into a parallel timeline and start going towards the life that we desire. When we dip into the imagination and we start seeing ourselves and feeling ourselves with our manifestation now. Ah, okay. Because now we're, our attention is now shifted to the life that we desire. And even though this life we desire is invisible, right? It's in this unseen, it's in this imagination. We shouldn't treat the imagination as if it's fake or phony. We need to treat the imagination as if it's truth as if what we see we can manifest. And if we shift our attention to imagination and start feeling the feelings of having our desires now, closing our eyes and seeing ourselves in that manifested state of having our desires, feeling it as if it's real now, when we start to open our eyes, we're gonna to start to see the evidence reflect in this 3D reality, in this outer world of the inside world. It's going to start coming to actual fruition. So that's what creation is finished means. It means what you want already exists. We just have to turn our attention to it. And once you turn your attention to what you want, it will come into this reality. That's where the phrase as within, so without comes from. As you feel it within, so it will come out. It will come into this experience. So it's your job just to, you know, not stress, not worry, Turn that attention to that new state of being inside of you, that one where your desires already exist, that trust and that faith that what you want is real and it's only a matter of time until you see it. If you can feel it in here, you will see it out here. Creation is finished. Creation is done. You have created the life you want. Now just turn your attention to it. That's all you have to do.